Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda, and today we are going to go over how to turn your back deck or patio or something, any space that you have, into a place to grow your food. Um, this has been on my mind to do since before the snow is even close to melting, and I just wanted to take you guys along with me through this process. It's not gonna be a one video and done type thing. No, no, we're gonna go through everything. Um, how to get it set up, what we should plant, what are some types of things we can plant in containers, um, ways to trellis to maximize your space. Um, I wanna go over all of this as an experiment with you guys. Um, I've done some minimal back deck gardening, but not a ton. So my deck faces south and west. It wraps around my house kind of, but as long as you have a nice southern facing spot with plenty of sunshine and, you know, able to get that the, the light in that you need, um, your cooler crops could probably, probably do without a southern facing space. But if you have that space, even if it's a, I think mine's going to be like a five by five by six little space where we're going to be gardening and I'm going to try and grow all kinds of different lettuces and and potatoes and tomatoes and peppers and I'm going to try and do all of this on my back deck to kind of give those of you that maybe don't have the space for an in-ground garden or don't have you know the time to even deal with an in-ground garden a way that you can get your hands dirty literally <laughs> um in the gardening world if you're new um, just to get some good homegrown food on your table to kind of dip your toe in the pool kind of so to speak um, I wanted to do that with you guys because this has been exciting for me to think about and kind of dream up this back deck I'm gonna do flowers and I'm just gonna try and make it a beautiful place where I want to be and a place that also will feed my family so today I want to say I'm done with jury duty. Thankfully, <laughs> it's been a long two weeks and a day. Today is Monday the 24th. Um, it is 12.20. I finally made it back to Valley City. I'm not going back to work today. I just, I need a mental day after this trial. It was rough. But that being said, I'm going to go to um, my local thrift store since I have time. And it should be kind of dead because... Um, it's a Monday and there shouldn't be a lot of people there and I'm gonna see if I can pick up some things that are going to help me with my back deck garden I want to see if I can find pots that we can use nice big pots things that we could use or create a trellis a homemade DIY trellis um, you know because cucumbers can trellis and so I kind of want to do oh, sorry I kind of want to do um, things that are going to be more affordable for us. Me especially too. Like my husband and I are really working hard to pay off any debt and save money and just kind of be more frugal and responsible with our money. Um, not that we're like in major debt or anything, but we're just wanting to be responsible and, you know, teach our kids that too with, uh, with financial responsibility. And so if I can make this back deck... Um, food producing I'm also gonna weigh it too just so we can get I'm gonna try and be as technical as I can with it so we can see how much you could really get from this small space on your property um, so we're gonna try and keep it super low budget I do have some things already that I had previously purchased like grow bags um, I'm gonna link those in this video too I got them off Amazon they're not extremely expensive um, and they're well worth it in my opinion as far as retaining moisture size accessibility handles all that good stuff I'll show you those things um, and I did have some of the soil already so the soil in the grow bags I will reuse the soil in the oh and the deck planters that I have were a gift from my mom so technically they were free to me but she did purchase them I'll try and find the same ones on Amazon and link them so you can see the price and I'm going to reuse the soil by amending it with compost. I do not have my own compost right now. That's going to be another video this summer that we do. Um, learning how to do compost together because I've tried multiple times and failed miserably multiple times. So we're going to do our own compost this summer. But in the meantime, I will find a good organic, you know, healthy compost to use and I'll show you how we amend that soil um, we're not gonna be doing it right now because it's 39 degrees on April 24th and there's still snow I'm not sure 
you can see out the window, but there's still snow. So we're not gonna be planting anytime soon, but we are gonna use the seed starts that I've been starting inside. And I'll kind of give you a little tour of what I planted without you um, when I get back to the house. But for now, we are going to head to the thrift store and see what we can pick up for our back deck. here on the back deck and of course the wind decided to pick up while I stepped out here there was no wind when I got home <laughs> and it's super bright so I'm squinting sorry but I just kind of wanted to show you what we are working with here and kind of give you the layout of what it looks like um, and then just just show you how it's sitting right now after winter it's it's a mess but we'll take a look okay so here are the two pots that I got from the thrift store in my town they didn't have a whole lot of anything I got these two wide mouth or excuse me one wide mouth jar they kind of have been pricing um, wide, you know, canning jars a little bit more than I'm willing to pay and that's okay um, it's not a big deal but I grabbed one that was fair price wide mouth because I need wide mouth and then um, I got some cute I'll maybe show you here in a minute. I got some cute wall mount um, candlestick holders and I'm going to redo them probably in a beautiful green color and hang them on my wall upstairs with uh, beeswax candlesticks. Here are the wall mount candle holders that are mirror. Can I come in? Hello. <laughs> and there's the mount on the back. And they were two bucks a piece, so four dollars for this. I'm gonna sand them down a little bit. This one's a little wobbly. So I'm gonna just tighten that screw in the back. And then I'm gonna sand them down, tape off the glass very well. And these are gonna be like a dark hunter green. Um, not quite like my wall is. See my wall's this green. I'm gonna do a little bit darker, I think. Like a almost black green, like super dark. Cause I'm gonna put them upstairs and my walls are white. Anyway, beside the point. So here is my door. It comes out of my laundry room. And then as you walk out to the left, it's just this little jut out place where I did a lot of flowers last year. And flowers are beautiful. <laughs> I'm also going to be swapping over some of the larger pots. Instead of doing flowers, we are going to do plants. Um, I don't even know. Like, why are plants out here? <laughs> just why is there an old griddle out here i mean just no idea but anyway i gotta get these things cleaned up this was a decorative piece of driftwood from our wedding so i like to keep beautiful things here too I i'm gonna be keeping beautiful things here as well um flowers are gonna help bring the pollinators in um it's just gonna make it an enjoyable place to be you can kind of see my back deck goes this way to the west and it wraps around the west side of the house here are the grow bags i was talking about and in them right now is just these are weeds <laughs> this was a giant gross weed it's really prickly that grew and i didn't do anything with these bags last summer they just sat here i did have potatoes in them um originally but i didn't do there's something i didn't do well with potatoes and bags so we're gonna do a little bit more research and plant them together but i've got one two three four five six of these bags i believe they're five gallon bags um they have the handles and they're super cool because right here you can access the side and you could dig out for when it's time to do potato uh, dig for potatoes and stuff like that your root vegetables um, I have two, four, five, five of these, um, deck mounts. I asked my husband to throw them all together here because this is what I was doing some of my greens in. My kale and my, um, uh, leafy greens, stuff like that. I did do that a few videos back, well, quite a few videos back, and I was growing kale and everything in there and it worked. So I'm going to do that again. 
and I'm gonna sew it. I had done two rows in here, but now I'm gonna just kinda surface sew it completely. Um, not too much overcrowded. I will come back and thin some of it, but I'm gonna try and get as much maximum crop out of here as I can. Still snow, as you can see. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna try and do my best to utilize this little jut out space to do a lot of um, the tomatoes and stuff. And I'm gonna work on some trellising. So I am going to plant cucumbers, which um, I might use one of these to plant cucumbers. And then I want to build some kind of homeway, home, eh, homemade trellis right here along the side of my house. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna use, I got a nice little wooded section over there. I might grab some straight pieces of wood and some jute rope and just make, just literally out of scrap pieces, um, a trellis. And we're gonna see how that works. I might do some peas just for snacking um, over on this side. Hello, Sheena. My old girl dog. You wanna say hi to everybody? It's so nice out today, isn't it, girlfriend? Um, so I might do that here. I'm just gonna kinda utilize this whole side of my house without impeding the grill and the smoker. <laughs> So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you'd like to see me try and grow out here. Um, what you think, what you would want to grow and you want to see it done. Let me know and I'll do that and take it into consideration and try and make this space bountiful with food and beauty. So I'm going to clean up this space probably today um, just to get it clean. There won't be any planting or anything. It's not time, but I will scoot inside and show you what I had planted this week. Okay, quick update on what we got going on in here. My broccoli and cabbage are looking fantastic. They're getting super big. I'm probably going to use one of each. I just, I guess... I mean, one cabbage and one broccoli is not going to be like a huge crop on your back deck, but I just am kind of trying to prove out that it can be done so you can then handle or, you know, decide for yourself if you want to devote that many, you know, say five buckets for five uh, cabbage plants, etc. So we're just kind of doing this to see. And then here are my Amish paste tomatoes. They germinated very well and are still coming up look way in there there's still some peeking up so these aren't quite ready to up pot yet um, I just want them to germinate and get strong so I'm gonna leave this on for another couple days I do have it venting <laughs> these things work great I'm telling you get yourself a rotisserie chicken for supper tonight and save these honestly um, so once these are grown and start to get their um, actual adult set of leaves not just these two little die cut leaves um we're gonna pop those up and i will show you some hacks and tricks on that here i did a bunch of what was this again i'm sorry peppers yeah jalapenos and peppers i'm telling you take forever to germinate forever i am so impatient when it comes to peppers um thought i saw something oh yep one starting to germinate right here just one and that's fine they take forever and that's okay <laughs> just gotta be patient even though i'm not but that's okay they will get there um we got plenty of time still cold out my onions are doing great they're ready for another watering they're not quite quite dry yet but i did top them and you can see top them meaning cut the tops off and cut them short you can see how much they've grown just since then and they're starting to give us little bulbs down here it's hard to see but i might come back and trim those again i want to keep them trimmed until i transplant um keeping them between that five and six inch height is kind of where i want to keep it because that just keeps encouraging the root growth and the bulb growth so those are doing great they look great um actually when you trim them you can take the trimmings and use them as green onions they they are they're basically green onions that you can put into dishes you can season or flavor your dishes with them or you can do like i did and share them with my chickens and let them have a little snack so i did that with some strawberry tops that i didn't need and i gave that to my chickens and they had a little snack so now i'm gonna excuse me i'm gonna take you inside and show you what i planted yesterday 
So here I have just done a bunch of basil, cilantro, parsley. I did some echinacea um, and then some other tomato varieties. One, two, three, four, five different tomato varieties that are just kind of fun ones like Berkeley tie-dye tomatoes, um, big rainbow. They're just kind of different flavored and stuff. So I wanted to try that. But I have all the all the parsley and cilantro, all that good stuff started so that I can throw that out um, on the back deck as well. So we're just waiting for those to germinate. And here is the beauty I talk about. Um, I did a bunch of marigolds, different three different kinds. So these two are the orange flare, these two are the brocade mix, and these two are sunset giants. Um, this is going to help with pollinators and it's also going to help um, with the tomatoes. So I'm going to plant these with my tomatoes in my actual garden and out on my back deck. So I did those, oh gosh, when did I do these? I did these before I planted um, my herbs and stuff. So these should be coming up shortly. I've never done marigolds from seed, so we're going to see how this goes. Um, up here, if I got anybody that's local to me, if you want any uh, Cebu Blue pothos plants i made too many babies <laughs> so they're all ready to go i potted them up ready to rock um also spider plant super happy little spider plant um and then in here i have propagating some mycan flower uh mycan pothos plants i think i don't know i'm not really familiar with mycans i just propagated them because they're beautiful <laughs> so i gotta find homes for these because I'm going to need to be putting vegetables here on this um, instead of just house plants. <laughs> well, guys, that's about all I have for you today. Um, just drop those comments. Let me know what you guys want to see, ideas you might have. Um, yeah, just anything you can think of. Kind of help brainstorm. We'll do this together. We'll do this as like a group effort <laughs> on uh, doing some food on your back deck or patio or whatever. So stay tuned. We're going to hopefully be planting the cool weather crops like the the lettuces and stuff like that outside within the next few weeks i'm hoping that this cold snap and the cold and the snow goes away <laughs> it's almost may <laughs> so hopefully before mother's day i'll be able to start um throwing some stuff out in the planters and we'll see what we got going on thank you guys for being here like subscribe share I really appreciate it and we'll see you next time bye Thank you.